Hello everyone and thank you very much for watching. This is me, Mr. P, and welcome back to another episode in Proxmox Home Server CV. In this video, I will show you how to replace a node inside Proxmox cluster. So let's begin. What you see in front of you is a simple Proxmox cluster containing three nodes. I have node one, two, and three, and everything is running. If I go under data center and summary, I can see that all three nodes are active and I can see all three nodes are online and is showing up inside the nodes list. Next, what I will do, I will simulate that the node is going, basic node is crashing by stopping internet connection to a node one. So in about a couple of seconds or so, Proxmox cluster will detect that node one is offline. So let's wait for that second or so to, to happen. Here we go, Proxmox node one right now is offline. If you set up Proxmox high, high availability or Proxmox HA correctly, in about a minute or so, your Proxmox cluster should start moving my VMs and Lexi containers from that dead node into fully functioning nodes. In my case, it will be two and three. Once all the migrations is done, you can go and start removing this node and replacing with a new one. So how to replace the node? First of all, you need to identify which node is actually offline. It's easy to do if you're going by a UI, so I can see straight away that this is my PVE node one is offline and local IP address is ending with 148. But what if you don't have the access to web UI? You can go and SSH into the node. You can try to SSH into node three or node two or node one. And one of them obviously will give you an error when you're trying to SSH. But what if you have 10 nodes? It's gonna be a bit tedious task to go and try to SSH into all of them. So you just need to SSH into one fun functioning node to complete the node swap. Let's say I am connected inside the node two. So first of all, I need to identify which node is offline. To do that, I can type PVECM space nodes, enter. And it will give me a list of all the members of this cluster. I can see PVE node three, PVE node two is showing up. There is no PVE one. This is straight away a good indication that PVE node one is offline. By the way, local means that I am connected into the shell via node two. If I go via node three and connect into the shell, tag local will, sh will show up next to node 3. So right now I am 100% sure that node 3 is offline and I can go and start removing it. To remove the node from Proxmox cluster, you need to type pvecm space del node space and name of the node you want to remove. In my case is pve-node-1. Make sure you type the name correctly. If I'll type for example 2 and try to remove it, I will have a bad day restoring a Proxmox cluster because I removed the fully functioning node. So PVE node one is the correct one I need to remove. I'll press enter. Proxmox cluster goes and does all its things and removes the node from the cluster. As you can see, node one is still showing up here, but there is no drop down option for node one to see what's underneath. So Proxmox node one or PVE node one in my case, is being removed, but I'm still see the label. And if I click on the label, it will give me the error that there's something wrong and basically it is, it, it is no connection to this node. To remove the label, I need to go to a fully functioning node. I can choose any node I want, even if I had 10 of them, doesn't matter which one I go to. I'll pick node two again, and I'll navigate to a folder, which is cd space slash etc slash pve slash node, enter. And in this folder, while I'm inside this directory, I type ls space dash l, enter. And it will give me a list content in the list format or list content in list format. And it tells me that inside the directory, which is this, there is three directories, PVE node one, node two, and node three. I know that I know that node one has been removed, so I need to go and remove that. To remove the node or remove the folder for that node, I need to type rm, which stands for remove, space dash r, which stands for recursive end directories, and give it a name. In my case, it's gonna be again, PVE node one. Make sure you type your folder name or no, folder name that represents the dead node correctly. Otherwise, you're gonna have a really, really bad day if you remove this one. So, or if you remove the wrong node. So now what I need to do, I just need to go and press enter and the folder has been removed. To verify that, I can type ls space dash l again. And I can see I had three folders before. Now I only have two. That means that this has been removed, but it's still visible here in the web UI. To fix that, I just need to refresh the page and any indication about PVE node one is disappeared. So right now Proxmox cluster 
moved from three nodes down to two. So once P node one is removed, one thing you need to remember that do not switch node one again. If by some miracle node one will start functioning again and will try to connect, basically once you press the power onto node one and for some miracle starts working again and is connected to the same network where the rest of the nodes are, it will try to connect or rejoin the Proxmox cluster. And once the rejoin process starts, it will detect there is no folder, which we just deleted, and there is no PVCM data, which we removed as well. And it will fail. And by failing to connect the Proxmox cluster, it will take the cluster down with him. So basically, you're going to have a really, really, really bad day if you will try to switch the node on, which will you just remove from the, from the cluster. My suggestion will be, if you want to go and troubleshoot the system, do not connect to any type of internet connection that will lead to the same network where the Proxmox cluster is. Or the best thing, just remove Proxmox OS, SD, SSD or hard drive. Just remove the drive where Proxmox is installed and just install Ubuntu or something else or run a Linux from Live USB drive to debug the system. Do not switch the node on after you removed it from Proxmox cluster. Let's go and carry on with the, uh, with the replacement. So I have already a node here ready to be used to join the Proxmox cluster. This is a fresh install of Proxmox OS. As you can see, there is no VMs running. There is no LXC containers running. There is no storage system set up, a part of the local that you, it gets automatically created when you're installing Proxmox OS. So make sure that the node that you want to join or use it or take or re the node that you want to, jo to join into a Proxmox cluster, make sure that node is a fresh install of Proxmox OS. You can go and do repository updates, package updates, etc. But do not set up any VM, select the containers, any storage media. So I know that that's it. This is a fresh install of Proxmox cluster or Proxmox node, sorry. I can go back inside the cluster, click on a data center, click on a cluster, click on a join information and copy that. Please note, as you can see, it says four or two out of three. There's number of nodes two. And this is the two nodes here. So I copied the join information. I go to that new Proxmox node, click on a data center, click on a cluster, click on a join cluster, paste that in, and enter the password of the root user of one of the nodes inside your Proxmox cluster. So password for root user has been added, and I'll press the button, join Proxmox. That's it, I can close that, I can close that, and I can see PVE node X is showing up. In about a second or so, this will change into a gray question mark, and after that, it just skips gray question mark. That is good. It goes straight to, into a green tick. And I can see NFS is being at, attached to this node as it's a shared storage. And that's it. My Proxmox went from two back to three node. I can verify by just looking at this. Or I can go inside data center summary. I can see three here. I can see all three showing up here. Or I can go to any functioning node and type PVE CM nodes enter. I can verify that all the three nodes showing up. They means all online. Next thing what you need to type is PVECM update certificates, update certs. That will make sure that all SSH connections and all communications via SSH between all three nodes are back up and running and fully functioning. And that is it. This is how you replace a dead node or swap a functioning node. This is how you replace a node inside Proxmox cluster. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And like always, I see you in the next one. Goodbye.